hello then guys welcome to episode three of our fc 24 player career mode here on season three i hope you enjoyed the last episode we kicked off the efl championship season and it must be said we did all right uh, we kicked off with a 3-2 win away at hull we then drew with swansea at home we beat bolton in the cup and then we lost away to ipswich on the final game which it must be said was a little bit disappointing we've got four games for you once again today we've got blackburn at home followed by stoke city away we do love an away day in stoke uh, we play norwich in the Carabao Cup and then we've got Luton Town back in the championship on this game and that's going to be a tough one to finish off the episode with we did start reasonably well last time out we are still doing some house shopping it's quite hard to pick the right place around London so we'll let you know we are still in the hotel at this moment in time we'll be better once we get set up and we're going to do a little bit of training as well I think just to uh, just cement that starting 11 position because we've been doing okay but first up it is Blackburn at home so let's get straight into it should be a tough game this Blackburn a very well versed championship side and uh, we'll go for the possession rate because I've, we may be able to do that playing in midfield but we are at the den for our first game of this episode Two very decent championship sides, both very much cemented in the championship. Can either of them make it to the Premier League this season? It might be tough, but we hope we can. Dinore in to Nesbitt. Nesbitt into Gulbranson. It's a lovely ball through to Zian Fleming. And that is a positive start to the episode because really... That is a beautiful goal. Everything about it. Nesbitt into Gulbranson. He played it into Zian Fleming in that number 10 role. And let's just have a look at this replay because it was quality work. We spread it across to the left. Played it into Gulbranson. He spotted the pass. And there is Zian Fleming. He just sat up lovely for him. Bottom left-hand corner. Millwall 1, Blackburn 0. Blackburn coming forward again. Schmodix, edge of the box. Good player, Sammy Schmodix. It must be said, Hedges now. And he's managed to skip past one. We are having to do quite a bit of defending here. But Nori gets it. And we ask for it from Fleming. Chooses not to give it us. Nisbet now down the left-hand side. We look to break with Brian. And it goes back to Mitchell. And we will just retain possession once again. It's a lovely ball in behind from Smodix. Now Dolan looking to give it back to Smodix. And Sammy Smodix gets the goal. We tried to follow the run. It just went past us. And as we said earlier, good player Sammy Smodix. And he's very much done well there. Let's have a little look at this because he, it were a lovely ball in behind. We've tried to cut off the pass. He just manages to get past us. And then it's into the top right-hand corner. Keeper, no chance. It's Blackburn 1, Millwall 1. McNamara down the right-hand side. We're behind, just offering a little bit of support should he need to choose. As Fleming puts the cross across and Dinori with it. An ambitious header from the edge of the box. It's just wide. He nearly managed to guide that. In to the top left-hand corner. Blackburn look like they are looking to play out, but don't decide to go along. Um, and we don't challenge. Vale just nods that down to Hedges. Blackburn coming forward again here. Edge of the box. Brian does very, very well. It's now into Nisbet. We do manage to pick it up just, but we have... It's very tight in there, but we do get the pass away to Fleming. Now go Branson. Nisbet goes across to McNamara. It's not the best touch, but it comes into us now. We skip away... From one challenge, going to Dinore. This is looking promising. Zian Fleming, edge of the box, goes in towards. We're looking for a pass. I can't quite get it in to Gulbranson. And it is Blackburn who come away with it. But nice bit of football there from us. Coming away with it again. We're going to try and knock one over the top for Gulbranson. I didn't know if he'd quite have the pace. He doesn't look like he has. And Wharton will pick that up. And that will be that for this first half as uh, we do manage to win it back. But Blackburn have posed a tough opposition. I think we've been just about the better side in that first half, but working very, very hard. We come off at half-time. Hopefully, we can do these in the second. Right, second half. Sun setting at the den. We need a goal, and I reckon we've been just good enough this, uh, sec this first half. We were okay. It was a decent goal from them, to be fair, but I reckon we've got a little bit more about us than possibly Blackburn have. And I'm hoping that a couple of little intricate passes try and get down the sides a little bit. We're going to try and impact this a little bit more, asking for it a little bit more in this second half. And straight away, McNamara goes into Gulbranson. Um, I'm thinking Tom Bradshaw's the best striker we've got, and he doesn't seem to be playing as we win the ball back very, very well. I think Tom Bradshaw's the man we need up front, but Gulbranson holding it up tries to give it into us, but we've been marked well. Blackburn building once again. Travis goes into Vale, and that is a great save from Bilikowski. 
My word, they are starting to put a bit of pressure on here, Black. And we've not really touched the ball in this second half. We're only on a 7.3. Brian just about gets that away. I'm hoping we're going to be able to pick this up here. Edges, and we do, but it does deflect kindly for Dolan, but he is offside. And Tom Bradshaw enters the field of play. Let's hope he can make an impact. Blackburn coming forward again. Now Schmodix. It's a good stop from Cooper. Fleming goes into us and Tom Bradshaw. Easy is still on side. Did I delay it too long? I did. Oh, and we could have set Tom Bradshaw away. Ah, just delayed it a little bit too long. But 15 minutes to find a winner. But at the moment, Blackburn looking at the more likely. Schmodix gives it into Ennis. But Cooper has been outstanding at centre half so far today. As Honeyman is now on in the midfield for Dinori. Is there going to be one last chance to attack here? Fleming goes into Nisbet. Nisbet tries to play as in we asked for the ball. Um, didn't quite make the pass. And that will be it. It's a disappointing start for us. It's only a draw. Could have been a lot worse. Let's have a quick look at how we did performance-wise. Um, I think we were okay. And I think okay is probably the story of that. 7.7, .7, uh, 30 passes with an 87% pass accuracy. No assists, no goals, no nothing. On to the next one. Right then, away at the Britannia. We could do a, a better uh, better game. We're going to get a 70% pass success rate, I would assume. But this is notoriously a tough place to come. Not doing so well in real life at this moment in time. Might turn that round under Stephen Schumacher. We're still trying to work out, really, uh, where and how we need to be playing in this formation and where we sort of need to be in this position for this team. Because uh, at the moment, we've not quite got it. Ender Stevens for Stoke there, the ex Sheffield United man. But uh, if we could pick up a point here, that wouldn't be the worst result in the world. Stoke coming forward again. There's options here, and it's headed away well by Wallace. Um, they will bring it down, but Cooper does very well. And if Nisbet can get this down to us, which he has, we have got options now. And there is a pass through the middle. We ping it into Gulbranson. Can he hold it up? Can he ache? Oh, we are not performing with these two strikers. It must be said, 25 minutes gone. It's a lovely touch from us through midfield. We're waiting for McNamara to make the run, which he does. We dink it over Ender Stevens. This could be an option for us. Gulbranson goes into Dinori. Look at us on the edge of the box. Here we are. We take a touch. Oh, we take a touch. And then we fire it wide. We were integral in that move there, but couldn't quite get the finish. Half an hour gone, but that's our best move of the game by some distance. As we nod it down to Zian Fleming, who then goes back into us. We take it into Gulbranson. Nisbet. Tried to make a move. Now Zim Fleming all, oh, and we've made a run again. We're starting to come into this as an attacking force here. A lot of defending to be done. Berger into Baker, who strikes it, and Bilikowski makes the save. Good save from the Millwall number one. And now we've got a corner to defend again, which they do take short. Um, it's crossed in this side. What a header that is. It's only back to Baker, though. Now Berger, who turns us. Second time of asking he does as well. Campbell strikes it and Campbell scores. And we didn't deserve that, did we? Tyrese Campbell, it's a great finish from the man, to be fair. Let's just have a little look at this. He goes back into him. He takes it onto his left, but we try and get across. Cooper and Wallace can't block it between him. And it's past Biakowski before he knows it. It's Stoke City 1, Millwall 0. Dinore plays it into Nisbet. Nisbet back to Dinore. It's all backwards and sideways from this Millwall side at the moment. We've asked for it. We're going to just play it into Wallace, who... Takes a touch into McNamara. Here we are now. It goes past us into Zian Fleming. We will make the run on as Dinori skips it into us. There's a pass in there to Nisbet. Chooses not to give it to us. Now Brian, left-hand side of the box, loses possession. And has that been the story? Although he's won it back. We've asked for it on the edge of the box. Can we play the pass into Nisbet? We can. And we get the assist. And that is the equaliser. It's Nisbet who gets the goal. I mean, to be fair, it was a decent finish from Nisbet. But we get the assist. Integral in that once again. Asked for it on the edge of the box. Now we're looking for options. Spied the pass to Nisbet. And there it is. It's his Stoke City 1, Millwall 1. And that will bring us up to half time. And here we go at the start of this second half. It's laid in towards We take a touch inside. I can see Gulbranson. We lay into him. Can he take the man on? He goes back to Zian Fleming. Now Dinore. Back to us. Is this worth a strike, you ask? We've made a decent run. We strike it well. And it's a good save from Bonham on from that strike from the edge of the box. We just saw it open up a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed we're not in the box for corners. Uh, but we have got some big lads here at Millwall. It's headed. Is that going to be taken? It is by Bonham. 
and we will just chop back into a defensive position as he goes long um we're trying to get on that but don't quite manage to we'll then play a terrible pass um very slack indeed um uh, but stoke don't look like they are going to massively capitalize from it or are they because tyrese campbell knocks it in mcnamara does well plays it into us and we will give it in back stevens crosses in it's a good header by wallace we will play on to goal branson takes a lovely touch we ask for it now and just to ping it to the left hand side and brian just tidying up there but yeah, it's uh, very much end-to-end. -end. Dinore just about keeps possession in midfield. We're looking for options. McNamara did make the move forward. We will now run into this gap. And we are finding that that is a, a run that works as we ping one into Gull Branson. Can he get the strike away? He can. It's two assists for us. It's two goals for Millwall. And Stoke City have conceded twice and lost the lead. And you can see their fans in the background. But we are starting to find out that little run inside when McNamara gets it, opens it up. We pinged it into Gull Branson. And we now lead at the Britannia. Oh, well done, Jake Cooper. Fleming goes into us and Stoke are looking like they are starting to push more bodies forward and gaps are opening. And what a turn that is from Gull Branson. He gives it back into us. Look at the pass into Nisbet. Can he strike it? Oh, and Bonham makes a very good save. But my word, we are creating things left, right and centre here as we once again are on the edge of the box. I mean, this could mean that we get some real chances as Cooper heads it towards goal. We might get some real chances uh, for long-range shots, such as this one as we strike that. Oh, and we hit the bar! Left-footed, we hit the bar. What a strike that was. My word, if that had gone in, I think we could have retired there and then. Um, but we do lose that header. But 20 minutes to hold out, but how close was that? Still down our right-hand side. Ender Stevens gets the cross in. Campbell's there, and it's somehow scrambled in. And defensively, we've got to be asking questions of the centre-half there. He's not dealt with him whatsoever. Let's just have a look at this. Ender Stevens down the right. Gets the cross in. Initially chests it down. Then gets to strike it. Bilikowski will be a little bit disappointed. Oh, Stoke 2, Millwall 2. We might lose this. But Nisbet goes straight into us. And straight from the kickoff, we are back in. And we've only got one option, which is to strike it. And it's a good save from Bonham once again. Fleming's coming off. Uh, but that was a chance, real chance to get back in it. It's Ben Mitchell who will cross this in. Cooper gets the head on it. And it's only a goal kick. We win it back. It goes into Nisbet. Nisbet into Ben Mitchell. And now we are down the left-hand side. We're going to give it into Nisbet. He's pointed for it. Oh, and it's not the best ball in the world. We can't quite win it back but we might do it the second time of asking we will go into Dinore then it goes into Nisbet now Honeyman that's a good ball into Gull Branson look at us here look at us Ben Mitchell we are one on one and we score 89 minutes on the clock I mean we took us time it must be said but that is the winning goal here look at this are we endearing ourselves to the Millwall fans I think we just might be what a goal that is as soon as we saw it open up and Goldbranson played it back, there was only one way it was going, and it is 3-2 to Millwall. Stoke City coming forward again. Campbell, can we hold out? We've got literally 20 seconds to hold out here. Berger, Wallace, is it into us, and we just punt it long, and that will be that. Fantastic from us. We get the winning goal. A goal and two assists, it must be said. That is how to do it. And you can see how happy we are. Let's have a look at our performance. That's got to be man of the match. Um, we're finding this performance screen is a lot better as all than waiting. So we got one goal to assist. We got a pass accuracy of 84% from 84, uh, from 32 passes, sorry. Um, and we did get man of the match. So fantastic work. Next up, Carabao Cup and Norwich City. Carabao Cup then, win this, we'll be into the third round, we might get some uh, opposition, some Premier League opposition, we'll go for the uh, dribble success rate, if we could get that, that would be ideal, a, a big away tie at sort of Man United, something like that, um, that could be a really, really interesting tie, so if we can get past Norwich, who knows, Norwich coming forward, it's a good pass into Kyle George, more defending to be done here, Mitchell does very well, it's played in to Goldbranson. I mean, we actually wanted that to the right. We actually now get it to the right. As we're now going to try and play down the right-hand side. Not quite got it in. Fogel. Oh, we nearly pinched that, though. 
from Gold Branson. But no, we've uh, we've added a couple of skill points just on the long shot side of things. Um, I'll show you the tree after uh, after the final game um, as Norwich get a chance and Norwich score. That is a, a big goal for them. Bottom left hand corner. They did well to be fair. If we just have a little look, it was a lovely little pass, Sergeant, and then into uh, the striker, pass Mitchell, who's got he's got to be said probably the defender that I'm least comfortable with at this moment in time. Uh, but yeah, Norwich winning at the den. Norwich come forward again to Zolis. Down our right hand side, defending to be done. Kyle George, it's a good save from Biakowski. Oh, it's a tough, tough game this so far. We are not in it at all as it's whipped into the middle. It's headed away well by Brian. We try and get a... My word, how big is he? Audits for uh, Norwich. He plays a lovely little ball into Cezolis again. Now it's into McCallum. And we just about managed to, say, uh, managed to stay alive in this tie. But still 1-0 Norwich. McNamara down the right-hand side. Can we do something just before half-time? Gull Branson doesn't use us, but that's fine. We've pulled the defender away. Nazi and Fleming... Can't get it back into Gull Branson. And that is about that. Because that was shocking. We couldn't get on the ball. We've just been running about chasing yellow shirts. Not ideal. Right, second half. We need an improved performance individually and collectively. And we've got to start imposing ourselves on this game. But at the moment, we can't do it. But let's hope this second half... I might just go and kick somebody in a minute. Just to make me feel better. Just like Roy Keane says. And is it coming up here? It might be. McCallum, we can't even get that right. Right, we get it down. It's in their final third, into Fleming. Now Nisbet. It's very compact, but now Brian's down the left-hand side. It's into Nisbet, who strikes it well. It's a good save from Angus Gunn. And that's our first shot on target, I believe. Um, and that's coming the 55th minute. That tells you how ineffective we've been. Gull Branson manages to nod it down to us. Right, first time we've had a chance to even go forward here. Um, and we have won a free kick, so we've done okay there. Um, we are on the edge of the box for this one. Zian Fleming will take it. We have got options. We've got some big players in this box. It's headed away, though. Comes to us on the edge of the box. Can we look for an option here? We're certainly trying to. We have to go back to Wallace. Wallace goes across to Cooper. We ask for it again on this right-hand side. We can see McNamara. That is a lovely ball inside. Into Zian Fleming. Back to McNamara, and he's offside. Oh, come on, guys. Dinori's coming off. And I must admit, if I would like to sign another central midfielder, because this Dinore, he's not particularly big, he's not particularly technical, he's not exceptional going forward, he's not exceptional defensively. And whether that's just me being a bit snobby, I don't know, but he doesn't feel like a midfielder that I'm really working well with. Lovely ball from Nisbet, Honeyman. Nisbet again, Honeyman again. Goes all the way back to Cooper. Risky pass. We try to make an option here. Look at us, Jake Cooper. Here we are in possession once again. We ask McNamara to make the run forward. He does. Then loses possession. We win it back from Fleming. He then loses possession. Do you see why we're getting a little bit frustrated here, boys? Because we just keep giving the bloody ball away. Ten minutes to go. Nisbet nods it down to us. Look for a pass. We pass it in to Zian Fleming. Gives the ball away. We are now playing in the centre of midfield in a midfield three. It's a 4 3 3 we've gone to. So, is it going to pay dividends for us? At the moment, it's not looking like it. Wallace into Nisbet. Chance to move forward here. We've got players forward. Nisbet's one of them. It's given away again, but this time we get it. There's a pass into Honeyman. Honeyman loses possession. Every time we've played the ball forward, we have lost possession, and it's starting to get a little bit waning now. Um, as we try to win the ball back again. This time we win it back with Honeyman. We are running on absolute empty here as we now try and hold possession. And we are fouled, surely, as we were just going to nip it into Fleming. Um, it's McLean who does foul us. And we will get a chance to put the ball into the box. With This time we are in the box as well. It's whipped in this time. It's to the near post, headed away. We will ask for it to be nodded down, which it is. We strike it right-footed. It's blocked to Nisbet. And it's headed towards Gunn. And that will be that. I think that is Millwall out of the Carabao Cup. We wanted to add that, but uh, don't manage to. Are we going to win this one? We are. But that's it. We're out of the Carabao Cup. Frustrating performance. Um, and there's going to be a few words said in that dressing room. Because we could not hold the ball up front there for trying. And it was so frustrating. We do get a 7.4 match rating. Um, we do get, what, pass accuracy, 24 passes, 96%. We didn't give the ball away much. 
Oh, we need to bounce back now. And here we go then. At home to Luton, we're going to go for the enhanced in the opposition half. Hopefully, this game, we actually managed to get in the opposition half because we really need to bounce back after that. I can't imagine the home fans were very impressed with, uh, I think it was one shot on target we had as a team. So this time, we really need to be on his game. There's a ball over the top to Nisbet. We try and ping it to him. If that is a pass, that pass was absolutely outstanding the whip the curve everything we're on the edge of the box once again for this one um here's a corner to us we cross it in well cooper's there it's headed away by giles we will trap this um, and try and uh, bring it down can't do it very well but fleming will pick it up once again it's headed away by burke we will nod that down to wallace look to build again fleming into us is there a pass into Nisbet? There certainly is, and Nisbet gives it away as we are becoming all of accustomed to seeing. Eight minutes gone. Um, chances at both ends. But here come Luton down our left hand side. It's crossed, but it's blocked well by Mitchell. We will have a corner to defend. They do like a short corner on this year's uh, FIFA or EAFC or whatever. Um, as it's played to the edge of the box, and Burke now for Zine. Now into Anderson. And we've given a penalty away. Oh, it's so frustrating. We've dangled a leg out. Let's just have a little look at this. We've dangled a leg out just to get the blocking. And that has given away a penalty. Anderson's gone down a little bit easy there. But Kiefer Moore will have the chance from the spot. And it's saved by Biakowski. What a man. That has really helped us out. And now we're going to try and break. We're looking for options. One of which is Zian Fleming. He goes straight back into us. We managed to get the ball out to Leonard on the right-hand side. Now we're in the middle. Zian Fleming again. It must be said we're playing better here. Fleming into Gulbranson. We're going to go into Nisbet. If we can go left to Brian, he's got an option. We're running through the middle as well. Nisbet. Goes into us. We take a lovely little turn. Slide it into Gulbranson. Oh, and if he just had got there, he got the turning circle of the Titanic. I felt that were a perfect pass, to be fair. Um, as Kiefer Moore goes up with Wallace, we then head it down to Nisbet. It's better from us. Gulbranson, we're in. Oh, and that is some save by Kaminsky. I decided to take it first time, striking it across goal, but what a save from their keeper. As it's another corner to Millwall. It's crossed in this time. Near post and Gulbranson heads it well over. Still nil-nil, but this is a better performance from us. And that will be that. Uh, entertaining half here at the Den. Still nil-nil. Two evenly matched teams. Both have had chances. Possibly we've had the better of the two. But it'd uh, be nice to end this episode on a win. It's been very up and down so far, but we possibly still can. Luton come forward down our right hand side Ryan Giles still looking for a pass can he find that pass no he can't because we've got the interception a good interception it was as well um, and the keeper tries to distribute it it's a very poor throw um, as we try and face up Fazzini we give him a kick just for good measure Fazzini again uh, this time Cooper as well and can we break Nisbet down the right hand side we are looking for options as well he gives it into us driving at the Luton defence back to Nisbet down the right hand side we've pulled into a nice bit of space on the edge of the box Fleming's there Fleming shoots Fleming scores Zian Fleming gets the goal and Millwall are 1-0 up and my word did this front three need that because it's been a very tough couple of games for this front two uh, front three if you include Fleming in that but that was a decent bit of play uh, Nisbet picked the right pass Fleming not an easy finish strikes it right footed near post Millwall 1, Luton 0. Nakamba into Giles. Once again, Luton attacking down this right-hand side. That's a good ball in. And Kiefer Moore is going to head them in all day long. It's Millwall 1, Luton 1. And we've got to be asking questions of the marking there. He got the run. I'm not, I think it's Denori gets the run on. Wallace can't out-jump him. And Kiefer Moore gets the goal that Kiefer Moore should get because that is meat and drink for the big man. It's Millwall 1, Luton 1. And Kiefer Moore now is attacking down this right-hand side. We can't quite get there. Uh, we are running on empty a little bit as we play it in to Gulbranson. And now Fleming. Could we get a winner here? Oh, if we give the ball away much more up front, I'm going to cry. Because we just do it all the time. Nisbet now down the left-hand side. Can we get a winner here at the Den? It feels like we may need one. Dinore. Goes back into Nisbet. We're on the edge of the box. He's got options, Honeyman. Goes back. 
towards Gold Branson. We're on the edge of the box again. Oh, it's so poor. It's so poor. What have we got to do to get Tom Bradshaw on this pitch? We take a lovely touch there. Um, and we just about hold on to possession. Oh, do we? No, we run it out of play. Ah, dear me. And we've just made a substitution. I know it's Nisbet. It's Duncan Watmore coming on for Millwall. I don't know what Tom Bradshaw's done to this manager. Maybe he's done what we did at Aberdeen and just fell out with him. But um, not, getting, uh, not getting the minutes at this moment. Cooper into us. We've got options here. Gulbranson. Ben Mitchell plays it into us. Can we strike it? We certainly can. Oh, and that was the chance. That was the chance to win the game at the very death. Oh, we should have. We should have scored there. Luton will clear uh, up to halfway. He's headed well by Mitchell again. This time we're... Uh, Going to try and go down the right-hand side. I'm looking for options in the box. Where are the options? I hear you ask. We're still going at it. It's back to Dinore. Mitchell. Oh, and that. We've had chances to win it. We've had two chances to win it there. One that we didn't take. And unfortunately, it is going to end with a draw. Not the worst episode. Uh, not the best. We have had some big chances at the end of that. We had two big chances in that game. We did get a 7.9. And we did also get, uh, we didn't get any assists. We got 30 passes with just 83% uh, accuracy. No man of the match for us, as you would expect. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet and where that leaves us in the standings. As you can see, missed chances. Cost Millwall against Luton Town. The media are saying it. But if we have a look at the spreadsheet, we've not had the worst uh, worst episode. Above sevens at all times in this episode. Got a couple of goals. I mean, the... The, uh, the Stoke game particularly stands out. One goal and two assists. I think that's possibly our best performance of our career. Standings-wise, it means we are in 10th at this moment in time. Having a look at the top of the table, Norwich are top and Stoke are second. So, gives you an idea of the level of opposition. Everybody we've played today has been above us. We're on nine points, level on points with Luton Town. It was a very even game, that last one. Struggling at the bottom are Barnsley, Birmingham and Huddersfield. Let's just have a quick look at what we're going to be doing on the next episode. Um, we've got Coventry away to kick off. Then we're at home to Middlesbrough, followed by Bristol City away and Q. PR at home as we go towards the end of September. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Please do like and subscribe. It's a tough old league, this championship, but it's very, it's, it's decent games at all times. Ta-ra!